happening at our state capitol. Another push and some pushback to pull books from shelves in school libraries. Tonight, the tale of two bills filed by two different lawmakers. News Force Caitlin Ogle with the story tonight. Katie. Well, one senator wants to put parents in the driver's seat, letting them decide which books are appropriate, specifically those centered around sex. Another senator says she wants to solidify policies already in place by the State Library Association. It's because the parents don't realize what's in the library. If this is an issue, then this is a solution. My bill is a solution. Two Oklahoma lawmakers filing bills Tuesday about books on public school library shelves. Republican Senator Rob Standridge's bill would prohibit schools from having or promoting books centered around sex, sexual preference, or identity. If signed into law, a parent could request the district remove the book from the shelf. If the book isn't pulled in 30 days, parents could take the district to court. When their main focus of the book is sex, I think a parent should be informed about it, should sign off on it. The senator says he got the idea when he was approached by a parent concerned about the book, The Bluest Eye. Senator Standridge sending news for examples of the book that are too graphic to read on air. If you were to hand The Bluest Eye to a child, I would say that you might get arrested. I mean, it's very graphic representation of a rape scene. Senate Democratic leader Kay Floyd says her constituents have actually reached out to her worried about bills like this. She says the State Library Association already has policies about which books go on shelves and what happens if a parent wants one pulled. And we're going to take just a limited number of those processes and put them in law. So I think it's a it's a common sense solution to a non problem, but if if it really does exist and I, I want to respect the rights of parents. So the current procedure that we have for many, many parents is not working. Meanwhile, the bill filed by Senator Standridge also says dis the districts could face daily fines of up to $10,000 if the book challenged by a parent is not removed from the school's shelves. The legislative session starts on Monday.